Hi, the previous video had given you an understanding of the structure and functioning of the brain in general. This chunk of video would explain the two major stages of brain development pertinent to the whole course on early childhood care and education. Also this video is intended to make you aware of the criticality of the brain development during early years. At birth, the brain has already grown to 25% of the adult size. However, by the age of 3, the brain should reach 80% of its adult size. The two major stages of brain development that we would deal with are brain development during pregnancy and brain development from 0 to 6 years. First, as brain development during pregnancy. Brain cells or neurons forms in the first month of the fetal growth. A newborn is said to have 100 billion brain cells which is large enough to learn just about anything in this world. An important fact is that no more brain cells are to develop after birth. A glance at the illustration will show the development of brain during pregnancy. The prenatal brain development gets initiated in the third week, that is the 25th day, with the formation of a neural plate. This neural plate curves into the neural tube by 35th to 40th day and then closes and segments out into four different sections, namely forebrain, midbrain, henbrain and spinal cord by 100th day and continues to develop in size until birth. It is this rapid development of the brain that allows the fetus to move, suck, swallow, breathe and stretch and even suck their thumb even in the womb. The last part of the brain to mature is the cerebral cortex which gets developed within few years of a child life. After understanding that the healthy brain development starts from the first week of conception, the expectant mother should take extra care in fostering the same. Certain tips that would help a pregnant woman to look after the growing fetus and its brain development are shown to you now. The pregnant mother should keep herself healthy and well nourished. She should take a pre-vitamin tablet that contains folic acid and DHA as per doctor's advice. She should eat a variety of healthy fruits, vegetables and proteins. It is very important for her to keep up her prenatal appointments for the doctors to track her health. Express love and care for the baby and engage their developing senses is most critical here. For example, sing songs to your baby or hear to some melodious music. The mother should maintain good hygienic practices to avoid common infections and diseases. And the last important one is take better care by relaxing yourself. After knowing what to do, you should be aware of what things to avoid. Avoid drugs, smoking and alcohol. Do not get stressed. Do not consume raw eggs or cold meat during pregnancy as it may develop salmonellosis or listeriosis which can be devastating to a growing fetus. Be careful with certain workplace hazards and materials such as radiation. Most important, do not self-medicate. And now, how does a brain develop during the first six years? At birth, though the child is born with almost all the neuron that needs for the rest of his life, the size is only 25% of the adult brain. The brain made up of brain cells or neurons create connections called synapses. And every neuron has the potential of establishing 15,000 synaptic connections. The signals from one cell are sent to the other cell at a speed of more than 200 mph through these synapses. 
But do remember that these links or synapses grow and change as a result of stimulation from the environment. Every new experience creates new connections in the brain. It is during this period of a child's life synapses starts to form at a faster rate than at any other time in their lifespan. This is the reason behind the fact that the children learn things more quickly in their early years. But all these synaptic connections are not carried over to the adulthood. Only the experiences that get repeated strengthen the link whereas the unused connection disappears at a particular stage. In other words, more often a synapse is used or more often a skill is practiced or more often an idea is heard, the stronger the synapse gets. The other synapses get pruned off. Hence, the early years are said to be the critical period of learning things as a baby's brain rapidly creates and prunes out synapses. Knowing how fast the synaptic connections are made in the brain, the graph that has been projected to you stresses upon the critical period in the brain development. The formation of new neurons and synapses is fastest at birth and then slows down during childhood. The connections do grow at a rapid rate after birth and reach its peak in the mid of the childhood wherein after that elimination or pruning of synapses takes place. After understanding the critical periods of brain development, it becomes imperative to learn the windows of learning during the early years of a child as the quality of experience in the first three years has got deep and everlasting impact on how the brain gets wired. Windows of learning or opportunity is defined as the period when particular experiences were particularly important or when some skills are more easily developed when compared to any other period of lifespan. The graphical representation that has been projected shows that the windows of opportunity for children of 0 to 6 years. Several types of research that were done on the brain development and the optimal time to learn skills has concluded that every skill or idea is better learned at a particular period, what we call it as windows of learning. The period as shown in the graph may extend from moderate to long duration. However, care should be taken to see if none of the windows do get missed as the opportunity to learn that particular skill or idea, otherwise that skill gets greatly diminished. Hope the video gave a vivid portrayal of brain development with particular reference to two stages, namely during pregnancy and during early childhood years. After comprehending the significance of brain development at early stages, what next? That forms the main core of the course. The next video on brain development would help you to gain insights into the strategies of fostering brain development by providing suitable simulative activities. Meet you again. Bye as of now. Thank you.